Hi, welcome to AppBeacon.com. We're here to help you find good apps for your iPhone and iPod Touch. I want to give you a brief overview on how to use AppBeacon to its fullest. First, let's cover some navigation. You can always click to the AppBeacon homepage by clicking on our logo. We have a new apps section where you'll find all the new apps for your iPhone. We have a bookmarked apps where you'll find the ones that you've bookmarked. Find the owned list with apps that you've owned. And the AppBeacon blog. Now to use App Beacon to its fullest, it's best if you sign up to be a registered user for free. So let's log in here with a username. And give it an email address and we'll put in a password. And here we're just doing a little math test to make sure not a spam bot. 3 plus 8 equals 11. And of course, please sign up for that Beacon News and price updates to get um, information on your uh, iPhone and iPod Touch apps. So we just register here, and we're ready to go. We're now a registered member of App Beacon. Okay, when you're looking for apps, there's already 12,852 apps in the App Store. That's a ton of apps to go through, and if you were using iTunes, you'd have to page through one at a time looking at all these apps. App Beacon does everything a little bit differently. We have a control panel that lets you decide if you like apps quickly. So if you're looking at this and you're looking for a job, um, now hiring, you want to bookmark that. You may come back and look at it later. Um, you don't have a job, so you certainly don't need a sales report, so you can sync that, and then you'll never be bothered by that app again. We also don't need this SEM calculator or this My Coach. This BTW looks interesting. We don't need to know about the price of oil right now as it's going down. Context Express, I already own that. Easy Recorder, I own that as well. So that was a few of the business apps. Let's go over to here to Lifestyle Apps. And I don't need this track alcohol level, so I'll sync it. This horoscope looks pretty interesting. And Christmas on the iPhone looks good. Okay, so that's what you do here. You sit here and quickly decide if you like an app or not. These controls apply to the current app. So again, you can sync it, meaning you'll never see it again. You can bookmark it, mark it as owned, and if you really don't care about lifestyle apps at all, you can sync that category. Okay, so let's go see, see what we've bookmarked. We've bookmarked a few apps here. You can see the list of all the apps you've bookmarked. There's two in business, there's two in lifestyle. Let's look at this lifestyle apps. Oroscope. That seemed pretty interesting. Um, you can see here that it was, it was developed by this company here. It was recently released and it's got some screenshots. Let's look at the screenshots of it. If you just open up the screenshot, you'll see the each of the apps, um, each of the screenshots, and, and if you let it, it will automatically go into a slideshow and it'll walk through all of the screenshots. Or you can manually click through the apps, or through the pictures one at a time. Okay, each app comes with description, its language requirements, the, the um, compatibility requirements, and you can also add comments to it, um, to an app. And just submit your comment. Okay, now, we've also got the control panel icons here. If we've decided we really don't like this app that we previously bookmarked, we can sync it, we can leave it bookmarked, or we can mark it as owned if we already own it. But you know what, I really like this app. I'm going to buy it in iTunes. So I'm going to click on Buy in iTunes. And iTunes automatically opens up, brings me to the app I'm interested in. And to get it, I just click on Get App. And so it automatically downloads um, this, this app for me. So if we come back into App Beacon, you'll see that now we already own this app. And if you look in the Owned section, you'll also find that um, Oroscope 09 is one of the apps you own. Okay, So let's get back to the App Beacon homepage. Now really, I mean, who's going to go through all 12,841 apps? Probably not many people. So one of the best ways to use App Beacon is just go into a category and click the Sync All button. All those apps that you had to review are now gone. You have zero book apps to review. And you can do the same thing with business apps. You just click it and all of those business apps are gone. Alright, now, next time you log into App Beacon, you'll, you'll come back here and you'll have um, more apps to review, like medical. Um, you'd have 115 new apps to review, and so you can quickly go through and just decide what ones you like and you don't like. And that's how to use App Beacon. We hope you enjoyed it, and um, 
please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.